There we go. Got transcoding after a couple tries. Oh, I was worried it was going to take a couple, <laughs> a couple dozen tries like the last time we had issues. But nope, we're good. So we are now live with Monster Hunter Portable 3rd on Twitch. I'm going to be playing some more 3rd gen tonight. And for the foreseeable future, I do believe. Oh, for starters, we just finished making this Nargakuga longsword. That looks pretty neat. We're going to take a look at the drink quests that we haven't done yet. We haven't done yet. Maybe we'll warm up with one of those. Make sure we have all our items. We do. Yeah, let's go take a look at the drink quests we have yet to do. See if we can warm up with one of those. Ooh, we got a new one. I wonder if you can tell if some of these are high rank or not. Requirements, no. So none of these have requirements. That must mean these are low rank? What about drink quests? HR3 and up? No, no, no. HR3 and up? HR3 and up? No, no, no. HR2 and up? Two, three. Interesting. <laughs> what this, Mr. Streamer's hand? Hello. Hi, Gak. Welcome. Hope you're doing well tonight. New eggs. Deliver three herbivore ebbs. Now, I have never heard of a quest that sounds like more of a chill warm-up. That one's fun, the Ignactor one. We're going to do the, the egg delivery one, I think. I'll have to see if we can gem in Gatherer or uh, Transporter. That works too. I feel like that's something fun for people to come in on, is me gathering eggs. I haven't done an egg quest in this game. I don't really mind the egg quests that much. Have we made a high rank gathering set yet? Transporter. There we go. The Lock Lock Shawl. Ooh, it's cute too. Super cute. Transporter and Psychic. Hmm. Interesting. It's only three pieces. Okay, we have the Lock Lock Shawl. Looks like we don't have one for here. Wow, combo rate plus 15. That's nuts. It doesn't look like it has that piece. Chest, arms, and legs. Still gives you pro transporter, though. Nice. I don't see it in the arms. Hmm. Maybe it's waste. Maybe we just haven't unlocked it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, lock that kilt. Gives you four transporter and five psychic. Oh, it's that look. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming it's the legs too. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it gives you 13 points, 13 points of transporter. And we have everything we need to make that. I think we just need more money, unsurprisingly. Yeah, we just need more money. Everything costs so much money in this game. Monster broth needed. Hmm, monster broth needed, huh? Well... 
Oh, 170? Yeah, that too. I guess maybe it doesn't cost that much money and I'm just really broke. Yeah, we, we spent every penny we had to make this longsword. See what we can get rid of. See what we can spare. I don't know how many... I feel like I have no... I have. It's been so long since we played this file, I have no clue what monsters we've fought a lot of. If there's any monsters we have materials to sell from. Doesn't look like it. Looks like I was selling things down to like 10 pieces. Usually my cap is like, oh, I'll sell it down to 15. Looks like in this game, I was like, no, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. I gotta sell it down to 10. Make that longsword work for us? Yeah, we will. Oh, there's a 14, there's a 15. <laughs> really pinching our pennies in this game. Oh, 18. We can sell a couple of those. Even poorer coffee man, yep. It's four ultimate all over again. The music's so quiet when you're in your house. I keep turning my headphones up in here and having to turn them down in other parts of the game. 80. 80 Roggy Fangs, dang. We don't need to sell them because they're not worth that much. Bird Bourbon Fang, 44, not worth that much. 18, there we go. That's more like it. Weapon request will make you use rusty spoons and bone swords. Yeah, probably. We have 28 Altroth stomach. I think we need those for the, shawl, the shawls we're trying to make, so let's not sell them. Well, that's a little bit of money. That'll get us on the quest, that's for sure. Is your farm maxed out? Yep, pretty much. I mean, not every... Like, I still need to put in some of the, cart, the cat stuff, but yeah. I'm, I'm farming mite seeds, don't worry. Farm brocade fish for money and points at the tundra. Brocade fish. So, what bait gives you brocade fish? We'll do a different drink quest. We'll do this one again that crashed on us earlier. Get them with golden fish? Okay. So, you put golden fish in as bait? Neat. Yeah, this gave us some weird balance with the music, I think. It crashed? Yeah, the PSP crashed. It was weird. I turned off some of the settings that that online uh, plugin asked me to change. Whoops, I need to eat still. Yeah, we're having, having Monka-esque luck with handheld consoles the last day or so. Yeah, we had a PSP crash earlier today. The Rathal, like we fought as an ogre and it was fine. And we walked up to a Rathalos and he flew up in the air and the PSP froze. Yeah, everything's crashing. Spooky stuff, right? Spooky stuff. It's okay. Try out our new longsword. I think this is a hub scaled low rank quest. It's not a high rank drink quest yet. I'm assuming you get some of those, maybe? If you look at the requirements for this one, it said HR3 and up, I think. Yeah, HR3 and up. Oh, this is bad. One with thunder fighting on the ground, the other with fire fighting above. This will be a hard fight. <laughs> Shooting stars. Can't see Moga, Monka ass. Are those frozen still waterfalls? They sure are. But the water caustics aren't still. They're moving. You can see the dithering? Good. That means it's working. I do not mind the look of the dithering. <laughs> I know that makes me an insane person. But I do not mind the look of the dithering. Yeah, let me know how the how the volume balance is for you. For me, it's about to be too loud. Uh-oh. It happened again. What is going on? What is going on with my handhelds?
I do not know. <laughs> yeah, the plugin's disabled, so it's not that. I've never had that happen on this PSP. So weird. What ISO driver am I using? Define ISO driver. Is there a problem with the capture cards? There's no capture card installed in this. This is just USB and the PSP. UMD ISO mode Inferno. Use the M33 driver. Okay, I don't know what this means, but that's okay. UMD ISO mode. Okay, well, let's try out M33 driver and see if that works. Have you modded the PSP at all? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to be able to mod the PSP to be able to capture it like this. Sorry for the pause, folks. We're just not having very good luck with handhelds the last day or so. Spooky. <sighs> oh well. It also could be I need to reinstall the, uh, redo the data install. Let's check the let's check the options here on on portable third. That particular quest just crashed just a couple times, too. <laughs> Might be Iceborne time. It's not Iceborne time. Iceborne time will be in a while. I just turned me to install back on because it was off. Well, I'm bummed. I'm bummed that that crash. No more egg. I already got the egg, I guess. Well, let's sell some parts again. Probably have some ores I could sell. I have a couple earth crystals. I have a couple machalite. Have a couple beolite. Have a couple light crystals. It has leviathans though, yeah, it has several of it has several leviathans. You're not dumb dumb. Well, let's try that again. It's weird that it's been Rathalos both times. This may actually crash. <laughs> Apologies for all the issues the last day or two. You usually don't have these sorts of issues crop up. Crashes? Yeah, Duckwood Crackers. Yesterday, our software install of 4 Ultimate on the 3DS got corrupted like while we were playing, and so it kept crashing over and over. So we had to switch over to using a cart, and that fixed it. And then today, on that entirely separate console, the PSP, we've been having crashes in Portable 3rd. I've never had crashes in either of those games before. So I apologize for you guys, because I don't like putting on a scuffed show for y'all. But anyways, welcome to the stream, Duckwood Crackers. Quackers, excuse me. Let's see if we get crashes this time. Is the bath and stuff like eating? Yes, it is. Yep. The bath's really nice. You don't have to pay for the bath at all, and it automatically boosts your health and stamina once you upgrade the springs. 
So at first you have to do some hot spring quests for that cat and it upgrades the hot spring to where it always upgrades your health and stamina. And then you also do drink quests like the one we're doing now, which upgrade the drinks or meals you can basically have. Yeah, you eat the bathwater. Exactly. They were ahead of their time in this game. If Rathalos crashes this again, then I'm going to switch over to the PS3. This game runs on both PSP and PS3. I've been doing PSP today because I wanted to and because I want there to be more footage of this game running on the PSP. Because I think it's really an impressive title for it. And on the PS3, it's just okay. But if it crashes again, we'll, we'll port things over there. I guess it's true we don't normally stream off of the PSP. We don't normally stream off the PS3 for this game. Should play on the Vita. I should buy a Vita just to stream, right? That's what I should do. <laughs> Last time I did this quest, Zin spawned in here. There he is. Hello, Mr. Zinogre. Whoops. Hello, Mr. Jaggy. Sorry, it's just slightly too loud in my headphones. This game has weird audio balance. We're like at the at the town, the the village theme is really quiet, and then like the audio in game is really loud. Nope, too soon on that roll. Yeah, this game's pretty special, I think. Oh, I should have delayed that input. I could have gotten it. If every portable and ultimate expansion was his own number game, what monster would we be on now? A lot. I don't know, actually. That'd be just truly staggering, wouldn't it? Dang. Ow. Was there monsters for four portable? That's essentially what Generations was, is the game that the portable team was working on at the same time that the mainline ga game was being developed. You only counted the console ones? Oh, well, yeah, there's more. I was going to say, 15 actually seemed pretty low. Oh, minus 3. I still think 15 seems low. Seems low to me. I was doing a much better job of this fight with Sword and Shield earlier. The most monster to Portable World? There hasn't been one yet. We don't know what the Portable, portable Team's been up to since World. Yep, there's been two teams in the Monster Hunter franchise since the second game. We don't know what the portable team's been up to recently. And you play Longsword slower and less dumb. I'm not talking about them making Monster Hunter World portable. I'm saying that there's another team that can make another Monster Hunter game that is a portable Monster Hunter. Doesn't have to be portable world. Just like this wasn't portable try. I don't think so, Gek. I don't think so. I don't think that they would put out one entry on the Switch 
and then not continue to put things out on the Switch, especially when the Switch is a very lucrative platform right now. Should have been watching. I don't know, Marx. I don't know the chronology of Frontier very well. Yeah, yeah, I got my gauge. The gauge looks so nice in this game. Was in Frontier an MMO? It was, yeah. Oh. Let's see, are we gonna crash? Didn't even get the notification I was streaming. Twitch automatically does notifications, so I have no idea how or when it sends them out to people. Well, we're gonna play this game on the PS3 tonight. That's so odd. <laughs> you jinxed it, Gak. That's so weird. That's so weird. I don't know why that's happening. All right, well, give me just a minute. We'll, we'll switch over to the PS3. I'm sad. I'll have to re-rip a copy. We've had such bad luck the last day. <laughs> Rathalos is crashing the game. Rathalos is crashing the game. Yeah. Seriously, it happened earlier today, and then it happened twice just now. I am so sad. Well, like I said, just give me a moment. Is Mercury in retrograde, isn't it always? <sighs> yeah, emulators never have any issues. Oh wait, whoops. Give me just a sec. All right, PS. P or sorry, the PS3 is starting up. We'll be back to portable third in just a moment. It is so odd though. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. Oh, well, shoot. Can I undo that? I think I can undo that. I just deleted the new save. Man, I'm so good at life. <laughs> One moment. I may have just gotten rid of our new save that we worked all afternoon on. Aw, oh, man. Well, that's a bummer. <sighs> Show must go on.
Okay, let's see. I'm sorry I missed some. I'm sorry I missed some messages. Let's see. So Portable Third was on the PSP. Yeah, Portable Third was primarily for the PSP, and they they released a HD port of it on the PSP or on the PS3. Hello, Ken. We're having some technical difficulties at the moment, but we'll be back to Monster Hunter shortly. Tetris Stream 1, maybe sooner than you think. You know how we were having those odd 3DS crashes yesterday? Well, today we're having... Today we're having PSP crashes. Oh no, you guys can hear the mic. You guys can hear the fan. You can hear the jet taking off. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. OBS's um, noise cancellation should take care of most of it for you guys. Like when I'm not talking, you shouldn't hear any fan noise. The beep beep made your made you think your PS3 turned on. Nope, it's just me. It's just me having a scuffed time of playing Portable Third and deleting my new saves that we worked on this afternoon. Rip. Oh well. I'll try and figure out what's going on with that PSP copy of Portable Third. What a bummer. How was D and D? Actually, it didn't happen today. That's why we're that's why I'm streaming tonight. I would be playing D and D right now, but. We uh we postponed till Monday, so Monday night I won't have a stream. Sure. Aliens is in Xenomorph. Sure, go ahead. Share with us the Aliens RPG. Oh well, this is gonna look different. <laughs> Are there any other PSP remasters? Not that I know of. Oh, you guys need sound. Hang on. There we go. It's probably pretty loud, but it should be about right, I think. You guys aren't hearing the fan when I'm not talking, are you? Because I'm looking at the waveform in OBS and it doesn't look like there's any noise going through to you guys. A friendly engineer who who likes helping folks. That sounds enjoyable. Good. I'm glad you don't hear my private PS3 jet taking off. Speaking of which, this is going to be really dumb. I need to go open a window because if I run the PS3 in my apartment, which the apartment building keeps at like 75 degrees, it will overheat no matter what and we won't be able to stream. So give me a second. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's picking up on it here. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit more noise reduction. PS3 overheating. It's one of the fat PS3s, so yes, it overheats. I have the fan manually. I have the fan manually um, set at 80% 80, 80 speed at all times, so it try and tries to keep the thing a little cooler. It's rough, but it does mean that we play the PS2 Monster Hunters with full hardware backwards compatibility. Like, there's both a PS2 CPU and GPU inside that PS3. Which was worth it to me.
Well, the longsword that we farmed all afternoon for was gone now. That's too bad. This sounds like a cool RPG. Is it about actually like, is it actually about role playing? Wow, this looks so much nicer. <laughs> yeah, this game does look pretty okay on the PS3. <laughs> I suppose that was a little silly. All right, let's see. So we need to make a longsword. We need to make an upgraded lance, upgraded duels, maybe, and upgrade switch axe. Yeah, rip LS. I feel pretty sad about that one. Like to sell. I'll sell 35 of them. I thought this was on PPSSPP. Nope, this is playing on a PS3. Wait, you can use Hunter for portable third on. Yeah, on PPSSPP. Yes, you can. Yeah. I thought you meant this game on the PS3, and I was like, wait, you can? Was Monster Hunter 1G able to be grabbed in the US? Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. It's in it's interesting. There are some change. So Monster Hunter One came out in Japan first. Then there were some changes, like they added the dual blades when it came out in the U.S. And then there was the G rank expansion, Monster Hunter G, that was not available in the U.S. until Monster Hunter Freedom came out on the PSP, which was basically a port of Monster Hunter G in, in a lot of ways. Okay, we're making a longsword. All right, we just need to farm up some Zenny. <laughs> Man, we have to do that Nibble Snarf quest from earlier. Let's do it with something else if we do it. Um, let's start off with some Sword and Shield. I'm feeling a little bit, not flustered, but a little bit bothered that PSP was crashing. That makes me sad. He ruptured Chan's heart. What's well, Ava Six? Chan is, I think, his div I think his character in the game, Marts. Rip Chan for real. Ruptured his heart. That sounds like quite the metal D and D moment. Having your heart ruptured. Hi. All right. You know what? No, there's there's only one thing we can test this out with. It's gonna be that drink quest again. We're doing the drink quest. Rain or shine. Freem uses the buttons to attack? Yeah, because it's on a PSP. He only has one stick. It was the first game that had the button controls. Ava 6 is an android made to help humans. Nice. It's nice that they found a way to cut you into the story. Do all dungeon masters do that, or just some DMs? We're off to a bit of a bumpy start here. Hi. You just happened to have her fixed as Chan died. Convenient. I'm sorry your character died though, that's too bad. Hi. Does the PSV have dual analogs? Yes, it does. 
and you can use it for the camera control in the PSP Monster Hunter games. I believe by default it mimics the D-pad. Alright, we're back. So, we spent some time looking at the PSP's graphics. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PS3's graphics. The PS3 has a really interesting look to it. Yes, the Zenogre and Amatsi were both introduced in this game. So this game has an interesting look to it because it has a lot of blur there. You can see that the whole night sky is pretty blurred out there. You can turn that off. You can turn on and off light bloom, which is kind of subtle in this game. The bloom isn't super heavy handed like 4 ultimate, or sorry, 3 ultimate. And you can turn that off. At which point it just basically looks like emulation for the most part, which is really what it is. They're just emulating a PSP game on a, on a PS3. It was officially released this way. Because it's such an interesting look, I generally leave it on. And as for the bloom, it's quite subtle. If we look at the bloom, turning it on and off. You can see it's not that much of a difference in this game. Whereas in 3 Ultimate, I feel like the bloom like covers the whole screen. Oh, this isn't... Wait, it isn't DLD, d and It's the Aliens RPG. I guess I kind of thought it sounded like a D&D campaign. My bad. I'm sorry. Huh. Check out mid-evasion type. Pressing forward on the analog stick, a dodge will go in the direction the camera is facing. The hunter is facing, camera is facing. I think I usually go with type 2. But yeah, so what's interesting about these visual effects and also why I leave them on is that they're not in this game if you emulate it on PPSSPP. Even if you use the portable third HD like we are using here and like you can use on PPSSPP, they still don't have those. Here he is. Here's Zinni. He looks good. Ah oh, man, we get the jump. Yeah, this game looks pretty nice. It's so weird for me looking at the screen supply. I haven't looked at the screen supply in so long. Like I'm really kind of bewildered by him, to be honest. It feels odd. so big. I'm so used to a handheld screen. I'm so weirded out. So earlier today we farmed up the uh, Nargakuga longsword. We just lost that accidentally. We accidentally deleted our save on the PSP. Alright, let's see. Are we going to get screwed by Rathalos in this version too? Let's find out. feels too large to me. It's such a silly thing to say, but I'm so used to looking at a tiny screen, this feels so odd. I want my PSP back. Anybody. If I haven't had, if I haven't said hello to people yet tonight, hi and thanks for being here. 
Appreciate you guys coming out for some portable third. I've also never heard someone say that they dislike Zenogre. I feel like most people really enjoy this fight. But, I don't know. Everyone needs something. Oops. Good old Zenogre's balls. Give us a hard time. Characters wasted in one in one night, Ken. I'm sorry. Got rudely destroyed twice in a single time or a single day. Androids don't need them ahead. <laughs> I wouldn't see that coming. Leo Breaker, welcome. Hey. Okay, he ended off this way, back to Area 5. But we need to sharpen. These Jackie are obnoxious. We're gonna duck into this cave if we can. How did fighting Big Boy Snake go? It went really fun. It took us a couple, a handful of tries, but we crafted up the Shagaru Sword and Shield and we were able to solo it. Then we did, um, we did some group Dala hunts last night too, which were fun. Group Dala hunts. Which is gonna be our last four ultimate stream for the time being. We'll go back to it when we're ready for G rank, but we're gonna take a break and play a good chunk of Portable Third and a good chunk of Freebie Night. stream this morning where we played this game and did some quests and upgraded an arc through the longsword and then we just accidentally like deleted our save on the PSP and had the PSP crash a couple times. So here we are on the PS3 instead. So we're off to a weird start. That is okay. Things don't always go how you want. I'm sure it's odd seeing me looking up at something instead of looking down at my hands. Oh, it's an ogre. I'll think about it, Mars. It does sound like fun. Sounds like a lot you can lose.
They don't call more of a punch for nothing. They really don't. being destroyed. pretty large, isn't he? I'm kind of scared of him. He's doing a really effective job of just beating our butt. There's something about just having this screen up in front of my face and having a controller down in my hand that's actually throwing me off in a weird way. Okay, I know that's an odd thing to like feel or complain about, but I'm feeling like that right now. I'm feeling very thrown off by playing on a console and not on a handheld. large. Like, I guess I generally rely on out-distancing his paw slams, and because he's large, he seems to be hitting me even though I'm rolling it. I think what's over like, my same timing. and a tail slam from Stygian. This fight is not good. Not good. I wanted to go into the base camp from 3U. We also need the Zenny, so we can't really afford to cart. That was dumb. Superman dive's not gonna work to save me there. Oh. <sighs> Alright, I want to adjust the screen a little bit. I want to move it around. Because I feel like I'm looking in like a weird way or something. Okay, 
that's a little better. Should grind Arzuros for Zenny? Why Arzuros? We also don't have max potions in this game, so this guy's got a lot, a lot scarier. Like, there are max potions in this game, but I don't have any. This is more of my speed right now. Earlier today, we were playing just fine. Something's going wrong right now. It's okay. We'll snap out of it. Things will get, things will get better. So far, not much is going my way tonight <laughs> between the PSP crashes and this. <laughs> this guy's big. Really? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, not much is going my way right now. That was destruction. Well, we did him with Sword and Shield just fine, like six hours ago so we should be fine to fight him granted that wasn't that one wasn't this large but even still i think it's just me that's all i am the problem currently and i'll get better blocking is definitely not going to solve this problem hey crystal welcome to the stream oh hi rathalos what'd you do with Zenogre? he has blue eyes Sounds like a wild type of game, Ken. Hello, Falter. Welcome to the stream. I hope everyone's doing well tonight. My night is going a little odd right now, but it's, <laughs> it's okay. Portable third? Portable third for the foreseeable future. We're done with 4 Ultimate for a little while. No, Kirk, please. Stop. <laughs> Haven't gotten this destroyed by a monster in a long time. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> you ever seen any gameplay of Portable Service? This is a new experience for you. Well, earlier today we were playing on the PSP, but following our 3DS crashes yesterday, we had some PSP crashes today. Um, so we switched over to the PS3. So this is a PS3 running Portable 3rd HD. <laughs> I'm picturing an Android like crumpled into a tin can. Can. So welcome to Portable 3rd for you.
Hi, Uchi. Welcome. Hope you're doing okay tonight. That means it's still better than when you play Warhammer. Dang. Huh. Well, that sounds like quite the experience. It sounds like a genuinely really good role playing experience. Hi, Panda Man, so welcome. We are not having a good go of Portable Third right now. Not really, Uchi. Not for you withdrawal so much as just like, <laughs> I feel very out of my element at the moment. We were going to play on the PSP like earlier today and then we booted up the PSP and it crashed two more times. So we switched over to this. And I'm legitimately feeling really weird playing on a monitor as opposed to playing on a handheld console. Yeah, you can't play online for a 3DS unless you have a Wii U. You have to connect your 3DS to a Wii U in order to play online. There was no online built in the portable thread in the 3DS. Yeah. Agreed, Uchi. Th this fight has gone particularly poorly. I've been getting stomped by Zenogre, but we'll get there. sentiment to have like oh yeah looking at a screen to play a game is weird as opposed to looking down at your hands okay we killed this another he didn't trip us barely game is that, Ken? Like, I couldn't give if it was a video game or a tabletop game. Or D it sounds like D&D &D to me a lot from the, from the details of how the combat worked and everything. Alright, now we just have to kill Arathalos. Seeing as how we're in sorry shape right now, I'm gonna use flashes. A tabletop RPG? Okay, that makes more sense to me. Arathalos is leaving, but at least we haven't paintballed. That's how you know I'm feeling out of my out of my element, out of sorts, because I'm gonna use flashes. Look sleepy. Um, I guess that could be part of it too. I, I'm kind of out of it. Our sleep last night was pretty messed up. I didn't sleep a whole lot today. What is up with? They're both gigantic. Long day? Not really. This has been the weirdest part of my day. Like, I think I'm just feeling a little bit perturbed that my PSP crashed and we had 3D, 3DS crashes last night. We generally don't have any crashing issues here on the screen. We have internet issues sometimes, or Twitch issues, but... Yeah, we did stay up until, like, we did stay up until, like, <laughs> 4 in the morning. I will try and get some good sleep tonight. Legitimately though, third gen Rathalos is kind of a joy to fight. He is, in my opinion, the right mix of reactive and predictive for Rathalos. We did Dalamadur until four until around four, yeah. that coincide with the 3DS having some crashes last night. Yeah, basically directly after you left last night, Ken and the stream went to crap <laughs> for a little bit. We were able to troubleshoot it, but it was like live troubleshooting 3DS issues on stream. 
What do I think of Monster in the World Rathos? I haven't fought him enough to have an opinion. At least not recently enough. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pass judgment. I remember him feeling too easy. Like not really posing much of a threat. Monster Hunter date. Um, I guess tell him whenever he wants to do a CB duo on Dal on the dirt. Yeah, exactly, Ken. Yeah, that's why I said I don't think that I don't think I have fought him enough times to really offer up any useful opinion on World's Rathalos. I just didn't fight him that much. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, I fought him. I'm sure plenty of times, but never. I don't know. Never really that much. Never really thinking about it. I don't feel like World was one of my thought more thoughtful playthroughs. I think I was just playing for progression. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was leaving. <laughs> oh right, that has stun in this game. You can tell Jose he's cute too, Frenchy, if you want. <laughs> I also feel like arguing about what Rathalos is best is like arguing what, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like arguing what's the best of the worst things. Because I just, I don't know. He's a fight you learn to tolerate over time, but I don't think I would really say I enjoy him so much. It's more like I enjoy doing well at his fight, even though it's kind of obnoxious because then I can spite him. But it's not really ever a fight I would say, oh yeah, it's not like Zenogre or anything like that, where it's like, oh yeah, it's great. Super fun. Leaving again. He wasn't leaving. Stunned? We were stunned. No, yeah. oh, the wind pressure. We can get so smoked by him right now. I really feel like they got Diablos perfect in the world. I feel like Diablos is too easy. He's another monster where I feel like you don't really have to respect him a lot of the time because he's so slow. Black Diablos is another story, but I feel like regular Diablos is not too hard. He's one I do have an opinion. He used to be such a presence. It used to be so difficult and scary. Yeah, it's possible that Master Rank, they're, they're a little more okay, but especially in base world, I remember Rathalos and Diablos being total pushovers. I don't know. 
I don't think I really want to have that conversation super often right now because I haven't played World in a long time. Especially when I did, I wasn't really super invested. I think I want to save my judgment on almost anything World related right now until I've played some more of it. world talk for you guys. I, just, I don't think I want to try and be judgy about it. Like, even stuff like uh, what I said about just Diablos right there, I should probably hold off until I've done it recently. Well, I'm like sleep hunting my way through this quest. <laughs> Hopefully we won't triple. Those Zenogre carts were brutal. I'm really excited to see if that was a gold crown because, man, he was so large. So large. Uchi, do you like how this looks better on the PS3 since we switched over from the PSP earlier today? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. To each their own. Can you tell the difference at 360p? We live on different camps. That's fine. Yeah. Yes, actually. That's, it kind of surprises me. I don't really... I guess I don't really watch stuff in 360p very often, but it kind of surprises me. We tried Freeman Night on the Vita. What'd you think? Not clawing is weird, right? I think I'd still want to claw. I like the claw. Even on this controller, so that's all I claw. Maybe I should try that. Maybe that'll make me feel better with the controls, actually. It kind of does, to be honest. is actually helping me feel a little better with the controls. <laughs> Oops, I was already at my weapon drawn. Extra crispy looking. I really should pick one up sometime. Not anytime soon, though. Just sometime. I got you, Uchi. Yeah, get those Manabra. <laughs> Looks like I should attack this. Yeah, I'm glad that there are different ways that you can experience these games and that different people like the different ones differently. It's a good sentence. I think people appreciate different looks for these games, even though, even though they're the same games. I think it's neat. We can all have our flavor of the look that we like. I'm like, I can get down with this. I think that when it's... When it, I think when classic Monster Hunter like this is HD, they really need to get the visual effects right to make it look still kind of... I don't know what... I don't know how I would describe it. It's not dreamy. It's not, like, environmental. It's not, like... I don't know how I would describe it. They need to get the visual effects just right to not make it look real fake and bad. I think parts of GU look really nice, and I think other parts of GU look really plasticky and fake and bad. I don't really know how to describe it, but like, there's other parts about GU that look fantastic. So like, I don't really know what I'm trying to describe, but there's a certain thing about different ways they, they've handled the HD versions of classic MH that I like and don't like. I like certain parts of GU better than this, but I like certain parts of this better than GU. It's interesting. For something that's so simple, like, oh, it's just simple, like, pretty simple models, pretty simple environments. It's interesting how changing the visual effects can have such a drastic effect on how the game feels looks. Um, I haven't played Try or 3U very recently, Mark, so I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. I think Try is more low res and more bloomy, and 3U is almost as bloomy, but high res and more colorful. 
But I don't know, I don't, I'm not gonna try and pass judgment on that. Those are my impressions of those two games. I feel like Try is also somewhat sepia toned. Oh yeah, Try had actual darkness. That's nice. I like when games have actual darkness. That's something I'll mod into Skyrim when I play Skyrim. Or when I used to play Skyrim in the past. It's like more, it's more like black darkness. So environments are actually kind of foreboding and have. Dude, did you see that? That ledge cancel from the Banabra? That was cool. Yeah, he helped us. He gave us a push. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Procal. I'm excited to play Try someday. I'm holding out with hope for private servers. Maybe someday. That's usually the case. That is usually the case, Duckboy Crackers. In that clip that um, Marth just pulled up with the command in chat, is not the case because it was a capture and he was about to wake up our monster before it got captured. It was bad. Or like blow us up with our own bombs or something like that. It was. It was, it was a poor situation. Let's go ahead and paintball this guy before we lose him. Okay. I'm feeling like I'm not. I feel like my brain was not fun firing on all cylinders when we were fighting that Sinovra. I'm feeling a little better now. Oh. For those of you who thought that around the world didn't didn't happen in Gen 3, there you go. I wish it was, though. Can you pay me a thousand beans to get... Can you pay me a thousand beans to watch you get hit by around the world? No. I'll do it for free. Marts, if you're here and there's an around the world happening, I will get hit by it. I don't know if I've ever been hit by around the world. Yeah, I know I, I know the spot where Palumu can do it. It's goofy. It's funny they gave that to Palumu, isn't it? I was going to say something snide about, like, you can pay me with Twitch Prime. Like, no, whatever. I'll just do that for free. <laughs> the nest area. Yeah, the nest area from Palumu. That looks really pretty. About to try and do a back hop. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, nope, nope. Hang on. Banabra. There it is. Me too, Uchi. Yeah. I like the idea that they're really fighting for their life towards the end of the fight. And pulling out like all the stops, just like a wild animal would. It's kind of a weird feeling. <laughs> I, it's, it's fun that it gets more intense as you as the fight goes on. I should have sharpened it. What am I doing fighting a green sharpness? Yes, got 
Yes, yeah, okay. Let's go for that wing break. It's Parafile acts like Awakening? What do you mean, Ken? On his wing. Hello, Zelda fan. It's not timeout. Understandable that we're coming close down to the time limit, though, because we did play really poorly against that Zenogre. Oh, yeah, we got the wing break. Oh, yeah, did we get the wing break? <laughs> redeemed. We redeemed ourselves. Having free element on your set with that axe only helps the axe mode. Oh, so you're telling me that when there's like a secret element or a hidden element on a switch axe, it only really becomes awakened when you um, when you're in sword mode. There's no inherent status effect to the rest of the axe mode moves. That's interesting. Third gen forest, yeah. We were off to a bit of a rocky start with Portable Third. <laughs> we had, we did, we played a stream earlier today, and then I promptly accidentally deleted the save first thing this stream. We had some crashes on the PSP, and then we got wrecked by a Ogre, but now we're doing better. Okay, well, that's another drink quest done. Life root juice. Let me grab a sweatshirt. I'm a little cold because I have the window open for the PS3. <laughs> We're gonna keep going. We did. We're gonna have to redo some of the quests we did earlier today, which is a bummer, but that's how it be. I'll let you guys choose my weapon for some quests. We're just uh, we're working on both clearing all the hub quests in this game, and we're working on um, right now making a high rank weapon for each weapon type, so that we have good options for dealing damage. Silver crown? Oh, I wasn't even looking. Rip, not gold crown. That's crazy. Even bigger than that. Ooh. That's interesting. I'm not sure I totally get it. So you're saying if you had a para axe, so if you, had a, if you had a paralysis file axe and it had hidden ice element, then the para status, or the para status comes out as, an, as a, sta a, sta a status file, but you can awaken the ice for the axe mode attacks. That's confusing. That's interesting. Wow. That's kind of neat. Reminds me of like du like the dual blades that have two different types of damage. All right, well that was a little more than we bargained for that quest. We really almost got tripled. That Zenogre was really dunking on us.
This game's cozy. A Switch X like Paroth only does para in sword mode, but Tiger Stripe Zam Switch X has para all the time. If you awaken it, you mean? It has para all the time? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm sorry. I'm I'm very lost. I apologize. Oh, this one with the doctor order is some chill gathering at the farm. A cure for a tired brain wrist. <laughs> that fight, la that last fight we did was pretty dumpy, months. So don't totally fault you for saying that. Some files give something in sword mode. Others boost something the weapon already has. So some axes just work differently than others? Like, you have two pair of axes, and one of them... Okay, so which one's awakened? That's part of what I'm curious about as well. Is like, let's say I have an unawakened pair... Let's say I have a... Let's say I have a, a regular paralysis switch axe. When does that deal the para? And let's say that I have a hidden para switch axe. When does that do the para? Oh, I'm sorry, Zelda fan, but we haven't gone to the forest yet. I'm very confused. <laughs> that sounds very confusing. yourself a milkshake? You and your milkshakes. I'm always jealous. <laughs> I think what people are telling me is that I am too small brain for switch for switch axe. Cappuccino and chocolate nut. That sounds good. Man, that sounds real good right now. I had some leftover pad thai for dinner tonight. It was really nice out at sundown, so I, I went out and I ate it in the back of my car outside because it was cozy. Are you fishing for a shepherd like switch axe response, Uchi? Alright, let's see what other quests we want to do. We're going to have to do some of the quests we did earlier. Um, or we can keep doing drink quests. Oops. I think it's just tired brain at this point. Tired brain and slightly flustered brain. Not ready for three Ignactor consecutively. How do you switch axes work? You built the Baros switch axe in three ultimate. You never managed to pair something no matter how hard you tried. I need to take a look at that switch axe, but I think usually switch axes deal their file damage when you're in sword mode. Um, so I would be spamming mo moves in sword mode as much as possible and using your elemental discharge because that's a lot of separate small hits which would proc status very well. And a boost file. Oh, I didn't know there was a boost file. Oh, okay. I just didn't know there was a thing called a boost file. That makes sense. That's neat. I didn't know about boost files. Now I know. All right. I need to figure out what quest we're going to do. I'm just walking around the village aimlessly. I am not in a great shape to stream tonight. We're going to take things easy. Hi. <laughs> hmm. 
If I take things easy, I mean, we're gonna fight a great Jaggy. <laughs> It's gonna be a free giveaway, so if you're here, or not a giveaway, but a weapon raffle. So if you're in the chat, go ahead and type exclamation mark ticket. And you can pick my weapon for the great Jaggy. No beans cost this time, because we're just doing monsters that probably won't triple cart me. I hope I don't triple the great Jaggy. That'd be a pretty bad night. I might turn off the stream if I tripled the great Jaggy. Oh, I forgot to check the egg. Power and Almanar boost files. I got my Yukomo egg. Let's see. We have some nice we have some nice um great swords. This Rathalos fire sword's super cool. I'm glad we made that. It has been Zelda fan, I agree. Let's see, we have that. We made the Narga sword and shield. We made the Narga. Made the Narga Kuga longsword, but it's, it's a little weak for right now. Probably just upgrade the true Yukomo Lance, couldn't we? No worries, Ken. Hmm. Oh, that's what we need the Ancient Fish for. Maybe we need the Ancient Fish for that, and maybe the Gun Lance? No, we made the we made the gun lance. Ooh, it's a long type. Long level one. Oof. Magombrayer is wide level two. Magombray tricks. It looks cool too. Should use this on Zen. That'll be fun. Hey Test Mass Lover. Welcome back. Long green. Yeah, it really is. Next level gets freaking white sharp sharpness. I guess, to those of you who weren't here earlier this this morning when we were doing another portable st third stream that has since gotten deleted, um, or the, <laughs> the progress we made in that stream has since gotten deleted, we are going to be playing through portable third's high rank. We're pretty early on, where we've done some of the easy quests like Arzuros and Jaggy and Kurapeko a couple times, that kind of thing. And then we're going to be going ahead and we're, just con we're going to be continuing through the hub. We're going to be trying to clear all the high rank quests and we're going to use all weapons pretty equally. In this next quest rank, we get to fight some monsters that I've never fought before. I've uh, I fought Green Nargakuga a couple times. I've never fought a Crimson Kurapeko. Um, I've never fought a Jade Baroth before. I've never fought a Baleful Giganox, a Steel Uragon, a Kalisha Lignactor, or a Sand Baryoth. So we have a bunch of new fights to do, which is kind of exciting. Gonna do all village quests to unlock secret quests? Yeah, I think so. Alatrian Monk, Monk Ass. That's actually why we're playing Portable Third right now, is I want to play Alatrian before the next time I go back to uh, to World. Dude, this guy is into that drink. I don't know if Crimson can call Devil Joe all the time. If Crimson can call Devil Joe all the time, we're going to have to get a little more used to Devil Joe. Right now we're in low rank armor and we're, we're kind of right in that like transition phase where you still have some high rank gear and some low rank gear. So we're kind of transitioning into high rank gear right now. Crimson's an actual subspecies instead of a color swap. Exciting. Alright, there is a weapon raffle going so last call for the weapons. We're doing on Great Jaggy. My brain's kind of tired tonight so I'm probably going to take things kind of slow and just farm some Zenny. Zenny is very tight in this game, especially trying to make so many weapons. So we're going to spend kind of a chill night tonight. We'll try and do some hunts that are interesting, but for the most part we're going to take things slow. I'm feeling pretty tired from last night's Dalamador stream. But I still want to play.
All right, I'm gonna give that raffle another half, like half a minute or so. This armor set looks nice. This is a low rank set recommended to us by Gecko, which is crit I2 and sharpness plus one. Mostly Gen Moren stuff with some Ignactor. My stream moments crashed. Hang on. <laughs> dude, so scuffed. Give me back my giveaway page, dude. Or my raffle page. Excuse me. This was your first handicraft set? I haven't had a handicraft set in a while. Maybe not since Free Me Night. Honestly. I mean, probably an Iceborne, I guess. But not since um, Free Me Night has I, have I done an old world handicraft one. Here we go. Ken. Ken gets to choose what I'm going to use for our great Jaggy quest. <laughs> Bombs only. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm too broke for bombs only. So, Jax? Okay. to get used to the old world or is it not old world but the uh the og switch axe controls i'm gonna miss the four ultimate switch axe controls a lot there's a lot more variation to those controls a lot more options it feels like Hi. the reason we're hunting the great jaggy is both because he needs any and because we're trying to clear out all the high rank hub quests and well that's one of the high rank hub, hub quests That's scary. That's scary, Marths. Um, great Jaggy's gonna spawn up this way. Earlier today, we did this quest with Hunting Horn. We had a fun time, I think. Cantor does get a speed boost and you can't Sonic Bomb him. That's something. Okay, so Triangle just does up and down over and over. Circle does that and then an overhead swipe, but not a... Uh, not a uh, double swipe like in 4 Ultimate. has better motion, the overhead swipes or the triangle swipes. I feel like it doesn't really matter. You just want to try and hit them with whatever is the best, is the best angle for the time, right? Do you get an upswing after a roll? You do. Okay. That lunge distance, it is really nice. Now, is there a wild swing in this game? I don't think I ate. I did not eat. There is. There's no transition, though, right? Yeah, there's no transition. Just you running out of stamina or finishing up with the chop. If I remember correctly, Wild Swing does not have good damage in this game. Second attack quite a bit. Oops, should have side stepped it. This is the switch X that we did our first ever naked quest with. 
our first ever naked quest in any Monster Hunter game was a triple Rathian naked with this switch axe in this game. Did we hit anything with Wild, with wild Swing? Oh well. <laughs> Stamina shops are 24 motion value. There were only 10 in try. Dang. It is try test mass level. Try had had exhaust as well. It's a bit overtuned in try and in this game. I am a. Like they tire out a little too quickly and they stay tired a little too long. Obviously, Great Jackie didn't stay tired very long, but something like Tigrex is just really kind of pitiful. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. How are you doing tonight? Tired me too, actually. <laughs> eating dinner. Oh my goodness. It's 11.30 at night our time. That's really late. That was a really, that was a really cool switch X combo. I don't know if it was a good switch X combo, but I thought like it was cool. It would take 34 try stamina chops to equal one perfect rush. <laughs> wow. Ludroth. Yep, he's here. We'll fight him. Maybe we'll do some of the easy fights that we, we did a long time ago and we, and we have we've already cleared tonight. That seems like the level of play that I'm worth I'm worth tonight. Did I ever show your chicken tortilla soup recipe to Annie? I don't think I showed her the, the recipe, no. Microwaved soup, it's meh, I'm sorry. I have it on my computer still. We did it, we killed the great Jaggy. Well, let's switch action in this game.
So many ads. You mean the small monsters, or you mean you're getting ads on Twitch? If you're getting ads on Twitch, I'm sorry. I don't have any control over it. Okay. I would appreciate it, Ken. Thanks. Yeah, well, how about we do some... How about we do some... Some easy quests tonight. Just to farm some zenny. Any of the high rank quests give, a, give us pretty decent zenny rewards right now. Not during the game, so that's good. Sorry. Yeah. I don't have any control over when Twitch runs ads. Like, I could tell it when I want to run ads, but I can't tell it to not run ads. <laughs> we did it. We killed the Drake Jaggy. Hi. All right, next up. Next up, let's do two Arzuros. Hunting X2 Arzuros is hard. Oh, hello, Hunter. May I ask you to kill this two Arzuros near the village? That's all. Thank you. This fan translation is pretty good. Fantastic localization. <laughs> it's got a certain charm. That bull drum quest earlier had a really great look a really great quest description. <laughs> also, I just realized something about these older games is that they're actually really nice for the weapon raffles, because I mean the farm gathering is the perfect amount of time for for a weapon raffle to be to be going on. Do, 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 do. Such a cozy farm. On a night like where I'm feeling tired, this is like what I need in between quests is like a nice gather sesh. It's real good. <laughs> That's amazing, Zelda fan. I want waffles? Waffles are good. Hi, Rosa. Welcome to Portable 3rd. We're going to be playing Portable 3rd for a while now. We're going to be playing through all of the high rank hub. We're going to do all the high rank hub quests. We're going to try and use all the weapons in this game now. I want to do some Electrian before I fight the new world. Is there any easy way to fight Try Electrian still or no? Is the kind of thing we have to. Is that normally something that was online? Gonna rush? No. We're not gonna rush to Latrian. No. We're gonna go through the game. We're gonna do all the high rank hub quests. Nope. No rush here. We're taking our time with Portable Third. I wanna savor this game. would like that, Marth, so I'm not sure if everyone else would. I would like that, though. Anytime they add something where it feels like you're interacting with the world in a way that you would if you actually lived there, I really enjoy it. Like, having to go to your room to save, um, going to the farm and actually, like, gathering things at the farm. That kind of thing. Okay. 
Really, only three people signed up for this weapon raffle. If you want to choose my weapon for this next quest, go ahead and type exclamation mark ticket in the chat. You can get eggs like that? Yes, you can. I really like how this waist looks. It's cute. It's like you tied a sweatshirt around your waist. I guess not that many people want to pick my weapon for Arzuros. Maybe we'll just start calling out things in the chat. <laughs> Ken won again. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> Super rigged. Oh. Ken, what am I going to use for this double Arzuros? Heavy bow gun? Nice. We're going to be using the Arzuros rumble gun. It's weird having a bunch of sets that I made a long time ago. Like, it's an odd feeling. Okay, so for gunners, we don't need whetstones. I'm not going to bring pickaxes or bug nets. We're going to bring dung bombs for sure. Power and armor charms. Almost as if I didn't actually make them. I did make them. It was just a little while ago. Am I going to combine any more ammo? I probably will need to combine ammo, so let's bring at least the first three or four combo books. Let's go buy some ammo. What is this gunfire? Fires a bunch of normal, fires some pierce, fires some pellet, fires some crag. Nice. Fires some flaming shot. Let's learn from a mistake earlier and let's look up what Arzuros' hit zones are. Oh, wait. Is Aoshira Arzuros? Yeah. This guard I'm looking at, this guide I'm looking at, has the Japanese names for some of the unlocalized monsters. Aoshira. Aoshira. Yeah. Shot type weak on his head, his upper torso. And he is weakest to fire, so let's bring some flaming shot. Let's bring some crag. Let's make sure we bring one normal one. Normal two, normal three. Not pierce, probably, but pellet. Let's bring some of that. Oof, everything has to fit into these three pages. There's no gunner pouch in this game. Yikes. I don't know. I don't know why it does. We're going to have to hope that this is enough ammunition. Aren't you going to do G-Rank and 4 Ultimate, or are you just taking a break? We're taking a break for a couple games, actually. We're going to go ahead and play through this game's high rank, then we're going to play through Freeman Knight's G rank, and then we're going to back, go back to 4 Ultimate's G rank for a couple of reasons. For one, we've been playing several months of just straight nothing but 4 Ultimate, basically. Um, there's also some fights that I want to do in the games that they occurred first before I go and do them in um, 4 Ultimate. I want to experience them in the old games first and then kind of be able to understand the context of them when I take them on in 4 Ultimate. And these are games that we worked on for a while and didn't finish, so finishing them will feel good. Okay, I'm going to roll with this. I guess I'm not bringing combines. Hmm. I don't even know if you can easily get combines in this game. Okay, you can get Hosperi and Neoberry pretty easily. Alright, what, what else don't I need? I'm not going to need flashes, am I? Probably not. Or antidotes. I won't need antidotes. Okay. There. Whoops, that's scatter nuts. Okay. I 
think we actually did this quest with Heavy Bowgun before, months ago. thousand zenny as the reward is not bad. Just gotta keep, keep chugging through quests like this and we'll be good. I need to re-get used to the bowgun controls in this game. Okay. So obviously you can point your gun at the at the monsters. Um we're gonna start off with flaming shot. Cause that's what they're weak to. Um you can hold down R to have this, the aiming scope come up, and you can aim it with the D-pad or with the second stick. Are there any options? Okay, let's see. Camera settings. Settings for scope, camera movement using a scope. Normal, reverse, reverse, normal. Aiming control. Say, settings for simple aiming the bowgun or final aim adjustments of the bow. Normal, reverse, reverse. Camera type, type 1. Type 2, type 3. Uh-oh. It doesn't say what they do. Settings for the camera type when simple aiming for the bow gun or final aim adjustments for the bow. Okay, so type 1 is like this. It kind of swings the camera around a little bit when you're doing it. And you move like this. Okay. Type 2 doesn't move the camera. It also doesn't... So if I move my camera around manually, like I'm moving it right now, if I look up or down, it doesn't adjust the reticle to look there. It just looks exactly where the hunter is looking pretty much all the time. Interesting. Type 3 uh, snaps my camera to the quick, the quick aim reticle. So if I'm looking back here, snaps it to it. I don't think type 1 does that. Oh, it does. Hmm. I wonder what the difference is. I wonder what the difference is. Weird. This set gives us attack up M and weakness exploit. Oh man, we're one point away from fire attack. We could have had that on this set. I think the difference is type 3 might be more aggressive about keeping the camera on the reticle. That's what it seemed like to me, Zelda fan, but I thought I was just tripping. I think you're correct though. I don't really like, I'm really into fourth gen's aiming controls now. Like, it's definitely gonna hurt for me to go back to third and then second gen's aiming. Like, I'm gonna miss that bow aiming and that bow gun aiming quite a bit. I really like both of them when you configure them the right way in that game. Ugh. I'm gonna miss it. But we'll go back and play some more fourth gen. This area is obscenely pretty. I really like how, like, how rocky that outcropping looks. And how misty it looks with the with the bokeh, like the depth of field. Super nice. All right, if we don't find one here, I'm gonna use a psycho serum. Uh, of course they are. Thanks, Ken. Also. I feel like I don't really look at these cr these cliffs and Misty Peaks very often, but they're also very pretty. These cliffs over here at this end. Did you have to homebrew your game, your PS3, to play the game in English? Yes, and Hail the Flame. Yep, yep, you do. Yeah, I'm not saying that those aimings are bad. Like this aiming doesn't feel bad, but fourth gen feels really, really good when you get used to it. I think there's a big bear and a little bear. Hello, big bear. Let me take him out first. Ooh, weird. That was interesting. Did you guys see that? That cancels that attack. Huh. I don't, I don't think I can name another attack that gets canceled by dung bombs.
Wait, why no downwards? Do account M still give points in this game? I'm not totally sure. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Just cuz. No, I'm not fighting both of them in the same area. I'm telling you, dude, my brain's not just my brain's just not firing on that level tonight. That was a big hit. Yeah, try and through you make them give Zenny because they want to incentivize you to get, go and use the Mocha Woods. Brains like handheld consoles crash sometimes. Yep, this is the case. Oop. Ah, I don't like that Samps. I really don't like that Samps. Maybe I should turn it off then. We'll see. I don't like anything that makes it feel like the camera's like shifting my head forcibly. that feeling either. I, don't, I really don't like using the scope very much. Sad on. Dang, that move's got some chunk to it in this game. I felt meaty. It's not even that move specifically. It's not even that other move specifically. It just seems like Arzuros flinches when dunked. Interesting. Miss Arzuros, me too. He's one of my faves. I love this little mountain ridge over there. It's pretty. behind us. Oops, I just meant to change. I didn't actually mean to use that potion. My bad. Try throwing Donut Yogambi? No, I've not. Maybe he does the same thing. He might. slides you throw a dominant and get the stop that would be super satisfying dang it the other one's here yo other bear screw off He didn't like me telling him to screw off. <laughs> You're looking for quote one. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't give you, I don't know why I didn't give you the quote, Marth. Oh, it's not quote one. I think it might be it might be quote two. There is a quote about the Arzuros. This is this is kind of this is the exact matchup that that was talking about too. Kind of a funny parallel. That's because Vespoid Queen is a terrible fight, test maths. There you go.
funny how that's relevant a second time. <laughs> Yeah, there does seem to be a cooldown in the quotes. Yeah, Portable Third has a fixation with multi monster quests. Like, no matter what, there seem to like pretty much always be some. There, we stopped his charge. Dude, that move got some weight in it in this game. Aww. Aims off. Yeah. Aims way off. Yeah. Jaggy armor, just the waste, but yeah. Hey. No, <laughs> why? Why are you stuck together like magnets? Ugh. Oh well. Welcome to the new Sinister Astronomy, ladies and gents. So is Siege in this game? Yes it is. It was added in try, I think? Ah, oh, he pulled out the four. I know, Marks. I know. Very wrong because this quest contains lovely, wonderful monsters, not garbage monsters. Like Gold Rathia. Arzos would never truly hurt me, he just wants some honey. You can smell it in my mega potions. This is too much. This is too much. In the last game, it didn't have siege mode. Yeah, pretty much. You have something better than speed than siege mode, Zelda. You have rapid fire, heavy bowgun. Later on in the game, no reloading, heavy bowgun. Later on in the game, just wait. You'll get there. Try as the last without siege. Or wait, just try not to have siege either. Was added in this game. Yeah, there were armor skills. There were some really weird armor skills in, in Freeman Knight's Heavy Bowgun. Really weird. I thought Tri had Siege. I thought so too. I guess not. Pro Cow knows best. Pro Cow played it. So I guess this game is what added Siege. Frustrated at these bears. Oh, maybe my aim isn't that bad, but there's a bad deviation on this gun. Yeah, look it up, Mars. Read, read Miserian's Bowgun Compendium. Zelda fan, believe me, you won't miss Siege when you get to that point in Freeman Night where you got the skills I was just talking about. You will not miss it. Heavy Bowgun is absolutely broken once you get those skills. Like, Heavy Bowgun and, and Hammer are basically tied in Freeman Knight's speed rankings. Oh, too slow. Uh, actually, 
actually. Yeah, sure, let's try normal three. Why not? What could go wrong? I hear a bear. <laughs> Darn it. I tell him to go away, he comes back. This quest is ridiculous. I don't want to fight two bears together with a bow gun again after this. Over this. Screw off, bear. I like bears, but I don't like when they're ganging up on me with a bow gun. For a second, I thought he was coming towards us. I was gonna be really sad. No, I forget it now. Zelda fan, I'm sorry. No, you're good, Ken. It, it's it's just mainly the armor set and them constantly being in the same area. Third's multi-monster AI seems pretty brutal to me. Like, they, they really move around a lot to the point where the monsters really find a way to almost always be in the area with each other. The actual gunning isn't so bad. Here's a bear. Yep, here he comes. See? I don't know what it is. It's like a Rathalos Rathian codependency. When you need to try and find time to reload, it's just not easy to be in an area with both of them. That's all. Hey, Rosa. Welcome back. You were drawn. If you weren't gone, well then, good to see your emote in chat. I do the same thing with Procow, where Procow will be here the whole time, and like whenever Procow drops the emote in chat, I'm like, hey, Procow. Okay, the one is the one's limping. That's good. Go away, bear. Go away. Yeah, I should wait till he comes into the area. I don't want to kill him out of bounds. My snap aiming is not super good yet. Yeah, I said something along the lines of I can't believe you narrowly avoided getting died or something. No game's perfect, that's my life, 21. I don't think anyone in the chat here would say that Monster Hunter is a perfect game. <laughs> I'd say all the games in the series have some flaws. Hey, it's the double bear. It is the double bear. They really like being in the same area together. Like, no matter what, they will always follow each other around. You're doing the portable you're doing portable therapy on Ghani challenge? Dang. Good for you. Props. I I don't think I'd be able to do that. Leave me alone, Shaggy. No, the other bear's here. You cannot avoid the other bear. Leave me alone! Oh no. That was a dumb time to reload. Oh, we're okay. Wow. Whoops.
Yep, we were using I was using I was using normal three pro count. Oops. Man. Not good at hip firing in this game. Aoshira, yeah, Aoshira. Those are something where I think I'd like to do it like every once in a while as like a challenge, kind of like I sometimes will do naked runs. It's definitely not something I think I would enjoy committing to a whole playthrough for. Just not my thing. Too early on that roll, actually. Last two fire shots. The aiming in this game does not feel super smooth to me. Ah. The heavy bow gun feels like it has almost like an inbolt of 8 extender to me. Confess a sin? Sure, Ken, what's your sin? Dang. Yeah, I feel like my hip fire is really impacted by that deviation. There's like a subtle deviation to it that's really bothering me. That's okay. The second bear went down pretty quick. Preferred playing Smash with nunchuck controls? What, as opposed to GameCube? Or as opposed to the just the single Wiimote? At least you weren't a single Wiimote boy. Like I was. Yeah, that's true, Marth. That's kind of how I feel about Brawl as well. It's like... Brawl's kind of whatever. Do whatever you want. It's Brawl. <sighs> sword and Shield's so good in, for in Portable 3. Can't wait for you to spam it. We, we did some Sword and Shield um, already tonight. We'll probably do Dual Blades a little bit. You prefer it still even with Ultimate? How do you play with a Nunchuck? with ultimate. Do you mean Joy-Con controls? We got carded so we didn't get quite as much as any. That's okay. Still got some points. Some zenny. Remotes can connect to the switch. 
Like natively? Or you mean through like an adapter? I have an adapter that lets Wiimotes connect, I guess. Well, that was a janky heavy bowgun fight for sure. Actually, let's see what we're gonna do next. Let's do another let's do another classic. Why don't we do a bear off with duels? I like bear off with duels. Or why don't we do bear off with gun lance? Hi. I'm not gonna do the muddy twins, sorry folks. Weakness exploit, attack up small, guard. Nice. Not sure your friend you just asked your friend for a nunchuck set and he lets you use one when you put it on switch that's crazy i didn't know that was possible are charms and portable through randomized like for you or preset like through you random i guess random it's just procal i believe procal we have no dung bombs to our name what a shame. Hello, Monstrino. Welcome. Um, Granny sells raw meat. Actually, wait a second. Granny sells raw meat if you have DLC. If you don't have the DLC, then Granny doesn't sell the raw meat. So make sure you have the DLC downloaded or at least the DLC installed with your, your emulated copy of Freebie Night. If you're playing via emulator. Using the Legomberator. I think Baros weak to ice. Pretty sure. Okay. Then you'll need to get the DLC. That's the only way of getting convenient raw meat, is via the granny. Yep, you can also cook them using few lines, but like you still have to go out and manually gather that meat. Good night, Ken. Best of luck in fixing your sleep schedule. Sorry if I screwed it over last night. Energy drinks are unfortunately not a good option either because they need um, a special herb or a special root that's really weird to come by in that game. You can't farm that root either. It's like you have to go out and gather that root too. So the only real solution is to make sure you have the DLC installed. I'm sure I'm sure you can probably find the DLC files someplace online. I don't know where, but I'm sure you can. You can buy sunset herbs from the from the granny, can you? Okay, never mind then. If you can buy sunset herbs from the granny, then never mind. That works too. Speaking of the trader, we should probably be checking out the trader in this game. I guess if we weren't so broke, maybe. Maybe then. Is this an old file of mine for Portable 3rd? Yes. We played this file of Portable 3rd last fall and winter. Um, we went through all of Low Rank Village. Not like, we didn't do every quest. This was before I started playing every quest. Um, but we did Low Rank Village and we did Low Rank Hub. So we're now on High Rank Hub. We're going to be doing every quest in High Rank Hub. 
And we're going to be trying to use all the weapons evenly, like we were doing with Core Ultimate. That's why we have equipment already. We're, most of our equipment right now is all low rank. We don't really have much in the way of high rank armor or high rank weapons. So right now what we're working on is kind of getting over that little cusp of transitioning from low to high rank. If that makes sense. Portable Third's low rank and high rank aren't super duper different, and we do want to get along to Free Knight and then for, back to Four Ultimate eventually, so that's why we didn't do a fresh playthrough. Although I was very tempted this morning. Like, when we booted the game up, I was... I was pretty close to doing a fresh playthrough. <laughs> now, Baroth really frustrates me with his mud move, so I need to respect it and not get muddied. I'm, I'm sure the Baroth in this game isn't the same as Tri Baroth, but he still hits pretty hard. Oops. Alright, time for a classic. The bear off. I wonder if charged shelling is in this game. Yeah, honey is always going to be your biggest summoning factor, Zelda. <laughs> Unfortunately. I found that to be the case in Freeman Knight. There is charged shelling. Neat. Um. World, I'm actually going to not probably be going back to World for a while now. I don't feel like I want to go back to World until I can give really invest myself and give it some proper attention. When I go back and I just duck in for a hunt or two, like when there's a new fight that comes out, it doesn't feel very good to me. I feel like I'm not in practice and I don't really care about farming up the gear. So I'm going to wait and we're going to be doing a full playthrough of World, like a full game playthrough of World from the beginning um, later on this year, probably at the very end, like probably towards the end of the year. All the quests, all the systems, using all the weapons in world. I feel like I owe it that. I feel like my playthrough of it before was mainly just for progression and like using the weapon I felt like I wanted wanted to use, but I didn't really aspire to learn all there was to learn in the game or like learn a lot of what there was to learn in the game. I'd like to change that. Maybe you can't even block those. Like him in his subspecies? I've actually never fought in his subspecies. We're going to be fighting his subspecies for the first time in a couple days here. Ooh, should have sidestepped after that, I guess. That was cocky. Oh no. Oh no, we were too cocky. Two hits. That's all it takes sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. We were a little too cocky there. And now we're going to pay the price with decreased health for the rest of the hunt. Just block my dude. Eh. There's some things that should be evaded. There's some things that should be guarded. And that was one of the ones that should have been guarded. I 
I do like the feeling of 3rd gen Gunlance. It's got most of what I like about 4th gen Gunlance to it. I think the myth, what it's missing is maybe the... No, I guess the shotgun is in this game. It's missing some tiny combo details, I think. But I forget what they are. Can you ribbon fire? I have a slam. That might be one of them. I'll find out when we're not going to wake him up with the wire and fire. Head broken, I think. Or mud off of the head, I guess. I don't think you can block this stuff. Oh, you can. We're good. Yeah, he does he does submerge in the mud in, in world. Oops. Wait, no, no shells. Is he piecing? He's piecing. See ya, buddy. Nice. More points. This map looks pretty. Alright, we'll try and figure out if we can do a Wyvern's Fire from a slam. Next time we knock him over. They've got a very cozy vibe to them. You can also just use the Argar charm. That's true. Wow, look at the range on those. so far. Me too. I'm also I'm also hyped to play through 3U on 3DS. Whoops, I didn't block the right direction, my bad. Can you move far from a from a slam? I'm waiting for a good opening for it. Oh hi Jaggy. Every hub quest has to have two monsters that constantly interact with one another. I think I might have dung bombs too, so we're just kind of just kind of out of luck.
Tiger got hit there. Oops. Could you please attack already? Thank you. We're gonna do this game. Classic Virgin Bear Off. You can indeed do Urban's Fire from Slam. <laughs> you can also completely eat it. transition period where low rank armor and low rank weapons have a really rough time with the high rank monsters. Ungani, thank you for the raid. Welcome. How is the rest of Dose tonight? How'd they go? Thank you for the raid, Ungani, and welcome, raiders. Yeah, I wouldn't call Baroth a menace. He's a menace when you're in low rank armor and he's a high rank Baroth. Matcha pot research? Nice. I know a very, very small bit about that mechanic. Just what I overheard from another streamer who was, who was playing those. That's all. You get stumped on by Diablos? Diablos is scary in second gen. What's a matcha pot? A matcha pot is an item exclusive to Monster Hunter Dose, which is like a customizable potion, I think? Like an alchemy, almost? Something like that, if I, if I, if I understand it correctly. Step. Oh well. Oop, the bounce. For a sub quest? It sounds neat. Ugh, we're playing so unsafe. Special Mush to Mature Mush. Was it actually called Mush and Special Mush? Like, in any other Monster Hunter game, I think you were using Hyperbole and be like, oh, it's some kind of mush. No, in that game, it probably is just called Special Mush. Even more Machalite ores. Oof. Did you get to use the Gun Lance, though? I haven't messed with it yet? Okay, I gotcha. Hi Jordan, welcome to the stream. We're starting into our high rank playthrough of Portable 3rd. It's kind of a weird concept there, but we, we played low rank Portable 3rd last, last fall and last winter on and off kind of sporadically, mixed in with other games. It was kind of our, our off day game, basically. Um, we're going to be focusing entirely on Portable 3rd for a little bit little bit right now. We're going to be doing all of the high rank hub quests, and we're going to be trying to use all the weapons pretty equally. So right now we're just kind of farming some Zenny up from multiple quests, although carding to Baroth several times doesn't really get you much Zenny. Um, so that we can upgrade weapons. There are a couple weapon types where we don't have a high rank offering yet.
kind of want to push it further, seeing as you do have access to more if you put in the time. I understand that feeling, like not really wanting to get used to the weapon or use the weapon until you feel like it's actually decent. So I think that's how I feel about it. If I'm making a new weapon, like we're making a, a Nargakugo longsword right now, and I'm not using it until after it's upgraded up fully, because I don't want to use the low rank version too much. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That was supposed to be faced the other way. That's okay. Busted Hellhunter's Molten. Quest mob wise is over double the HP of Caravan Molten, about 1.5 times the attack. That should be interesting someday. direction. Lucky us. Quadruple tail whip. How could I not have seen it coming? Oh, frames are dropping. Thanks for the thanks for the heads up, Zelda fan. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like we're having some internet issues now. <laughs> Scuffed portable third stream. It's definitely not fine, but hopefully it will settle down. I don't know. It's having a lot of issues right now. Hmm. Hmm. Can I? I don't think I can change servers while we're live, can I? That would be... No, you can't. That would be quite the... Uh, quite the task. All right, I'm going to give it about five minutes. I'm going to give it about five minutes, and if it doesn't fix itself, then we're going to go ahead and probably try restarting the stream. I'm sorry for all the all the choppy frames. I'm going to try not to look at it, because it's going to bug me if I look at it. The nice looks really creative in this game. Like, there's no optimal combos at any given moment. You just reform with pokes, substance, and shells. This is generally how Gunlance is in most games. At least a lot of the games. I'm a big fan of Gunlance in this game. It is literally the Forest and Hills theme, but with the choir, yeah. Raptor boy. Oh, dropping so many frames. Ugh. Oh, hi, Great Jaggy. How you doing there, bud? You having a good day? Um, 
Yeah, the frames are so bad. The frames are so bad. Um, I'm Hello. We're somewhat back. I'm trying to see if the frames are better. It doesn't look like they are. Yeah, I'm going to be down for about five minutes or so. I'm going to restart my router and hope that fixes things. If not, then we may have to stop, but I don't want to plan on that. I want to keep going. So give me just a minute. We'll be right back. <laughs> 